Hello all. So in today's class we will uh, see few more problems on finding the radius of curvature. So the first problem is in the ellipse x square plus a square x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1. You have to show that the radius of curvature at an end of the major axis is equal to the semi lattice rectum of the ellipse. So uh, here we will take the uh, end of the uh, major axis so major axis uh, that will be uh, the coordinates a0 and minus a0 so we will find out the radius of curvature at uh, those point and we have to show that it is equal to the semi lattice rectum so the semi lattice rectum uh, will be uh, equal to b square by a so we will uh, take one end of the major axis. So we will oh. take the point A0. So we will show that rho is equal to B square by A. The ellipse is X square by A square plus Y square by B square equal to 1. So let us differentiate with respect to X on both sides. So we will get 2X by uh, A square plus 2 by Y dash by B square uh, equal to 0. So therefore Y dash will be minus x by a square into b square by y verim. Now we need to, uh, okay, let us call it as equation 1 and let us differentiate 1 uh, with respect to uh, x again. So differentiate 1 with respect to x. So that will uh, give 2 by a square plus 2 by b square is there then we need to take the derivative of y by dash so that will be y dash square plus y y double dash equal to 0 now uh, value of y y double dash so that will be 2 by a square plus uh, 2 by b square so y dash is minus b square x by a square by the whole square plus y y double dash equal to 0. So we will get uh, 2 by b square into b raised to 4 x square by a raised to 4 y square plus y y double dash equal to minus 2 by a square verum. So that is b raised to 4 x square by a raised to 4 y square plus uh, y y double dash is equal to minus b square by a square so y y double dash is minus b square by a square minus b raised to 4 x square by a raised to 4 y square um, so therefore y y double dash uh, is equal to so we will get 1 by y then here uh, minus b square by a square um, okay let us uh, multiply here uh, common denominator adhika, common denominator adhika, you will get uh, minus b square Okay, let us make the denominator a raised to 4 y square. So, we will get uh, a square y square minus. Uh, so, here the second term you will have b raised to 4 uh, x square. Okay. So, that gives uh, 1 by a raised to 4 y cube into so minus b square uh, is common in both the terms so that is going to give uh, a square y square uh, plus b square x square now we have x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 so that implies b square x square plus uh, a square y square is equal to a square b square so that is minus b square into so this is a square b square by a raised to 4 y cube so we will get 
minus b raised to 4 by uh, a square by c. So that is going to be the value of y double dash and we have y dash equal to minus b square x by a square y. So now let us write the value of the radius of curvature. So rho is 1 by dy by dx whole square whole power 3 by 2 by d square y by dx square. So that is 1 plus um, dy by dx whole square you will get b raised to 4 x square by a raised to 4 y square whole power 3 by 2 by um, d square y by dx square is minus b raised to 4 by uh, a square y t. So that gives uh, a raised to 4 y square plus b raised to 4 x square mm -hmm. by 3 by 2 by uh, a raised to 4 uh, y square whole power 3 by 2 will become mm -hmm. so we will get a square y whole cube theorem then minus b raised to 4 and this will go to a numerator a square y cube. So uh, that will be equal to a raised to 4 y square plus b raised to 4 x square whole power uh, 3 by 2 by uh, you will get a raised to 4 y cube will cancel off minus b raised to 4. So uh, we need at a0. So one end of the major axis is a0. So at uh, a0 uh, so rho will be equal to so y is 0 uh, so here you will get b raised to 4 uh, a square verum whole power 3 by 2 by minus uh, a raised to 4 uh, b raised to 4 so therefore uh, rho will be equal to so we we'll get b square a whole cube by uh, minus a raised to 4 b raised to 4 that will be b raised to 6 a cube by minus a raised to 4 b raised to 4. So that is rho equal to uh, b square by uh, a item. So that is the value of semi lattice vector problems to show that for the uh, curve x equal to a cos theta into 1 plus sin theta and y equal to a sin theta into 1 plus cos theta the radius of curvature is a at the point for which the value of parameter theta is minus pi by 4 so we need to show that at theta equal to minus pi by 4 the radius of curvature uh, is equal to so let us find the derivatives. So we have x equal to a cos theta into 1 plus sin theta. So therefore dx by uh, d theta is equal to so we will get a cos square theta um, minus a sin theta into 1 plus sin theta. So that will be, um, so we have a cos square theta minus a sin theta minus a sin square theta. Then we have y equal to a sin theta into 1 plus cos theta. So we will take dy by uh, d theta. So that will be equal to uh, a cos theta into 1 plus cos theta value uh, plus a sin theta into minus sin theta. So that will be a cos theta plus a uh, cos square theta minus sin square uh, theta. So therefore dy by dx will be equal to the ratio decomba. a will cancel out so we will get cos theta plus uh, cos square theta minus sin square theta by 
again arrows a will cancel off so we'll get minus sine theta plus cos square theta minus sine square theta so okay that's the value of okay you can write it as cos theta plus cos 2 theta then minus sine theta plus cos 2 theta now we want the value of d square y by dx square so that will be d by uh, d theta of dy by dx into d theta by dx so we need to differentiate this with respect to theta so we will get minus sine theta plus cos 2 theta whole square root m then minus sine theta plus cos 2 theta into so we will get minus sine theta minus 2 uh, sine 2 theta minus cos theta plus cos 2 theta into minus cos theta minus 2 sin 2 theta so now uh, let us substitute the value of uh, theta so theta is equal to okay then do d theta by dx in good rhythm. so let us substitute the value of uh, theta equal to minus pi by 4 into the equation so dy by dx will be equal to so cos minus pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 uh, cos pi by 2 it will be 0 this will be here under term 0 so this will be 1 by root 2 and sine of minus pi by 4 is minus 1 by root 2 so that will become plus 1 by root 2 so dy by dx will be equal to 1 at theta equal to minus pi by 4 and uh, again uh, we want d theta by uh, dx also uh, dx by d theta no are another okay. so dx by d theta is a into minus sine theta plus cos two theta so dx by d theta at theta equal to minus pi by 4 that is going to be so this is 0 so we will get uh, a by root 2 so d square y by dx square and evaluate them so that will be um, Okay, so here you will get uh, substitute the value of minus pi by 4. So we will get 1 by root 2 into and this term you will get um, 1 by root 2 uh, sine minus pi by 2 item. So that will be minus 1. So this is 1 by root 2 s2 and minus again uh, cos 1 by root 2 where it is 0 agum then here uh, minus 1 by root 2 plus 2 minus 1 by root 2 plus 2 by uh, minus sin theta that will be 1 by root 2 so 1 by root 2 whole square so that is 1 by 2 into uh, dx by d theta uh, d theta by dx so that will be um, root 2 by a so now this will be equal to 1 by 2 plus root 2 plus 1 by 2 minus root 2 um, by okay, into root 2 by a into 2 verum so that is equal to uh, okay you will get 2 root 2 by a so that is the value of dy by dx and d square y by uh, dx square so therefore rho will